So to use the database, you can go to our website and you can either type in a product name or a category name into the search bar, or you can scroll up to this little button on the top that says categories and you click on there and you'll see a whole bunch of categories pop up. Everything from baby food to frozen foods to dairy to dairy alternatives. So say you're looking for yogurt. You click on dairy and you scroll down to yogurt and yogurt drinks and it will bring up a page that will show you a whole range of products going from 1 to 10. It will also show you a whole bunch of different subcategories that you might be interested in. So if you only want to look for plain yogurts, you can click on plain yogurts and it'll show just those yogurts. So for instance, when you go to the yogurt category and you scroll down, you will see a bar chart on the left side of your page and it will show products in different score ranges. So if you want to see all of the products that, for example, that score a three, you can click on that bar and it will bring up all of those products. You also find a similar bar chart on a product page and this is really incredibly useful because you can see how a particular product compares to other products in that same category. So for example, if you end up, if your favorite yogurt happens to be a six and you want to find a yogurt that, um, that's also similarly flavored but scores a bit better, then you can say, oh, okay, mine is scoring in the six category. Show me the, the other flavored yogurts that are scoring a three. You click on that bar and it will bring up just those kinds of yogurts. So if you do a search, you'll come up with a page that'll show a lot of different products and you should find one that looks interesting to you, click on that product, and it will pull up a page that will show you an incredible amount of information. It will show you the overall score. It will also show you how that particular product compared to other similar products in that category. It will show you how the overall score breaks down in terms of nutrition concern, in terms of ingredient concern, in terms of processing concern. And you can also see how these different elements were combined in the overall score. So for example, here you can see that nutrition is a really major driver to the to the score also ingredient concerns are also a major driver processing concerns is a very minor driver but but that's not all so on a product page you will find the overall score you will also see a bar graph showing how this product compares with other similar products in the same category and you will also see how we came up with that overall score. You can see, for example, how we combined the nutrition score, the ingredient concern score, and the processing score to get this overall score, which in this case is a seven. So for example, you can see that in this case, we have a product with a nutrition score that's in the mid-range, an ingredient score that's also in the mid-range, and a processing concern score that's on the higher range. But you can see that we don't weight these elements the same. In this case, we, we rate nutrition most heavily, we weight ingredient concern second most heavily, and we weight processing concerns relatively lightly. Now if you scroll down more, you will see uh, a box showing EWG's top findings. And these are quick takeaways that we think that consumers should know about this product. So it can vary from everything from this product contains food additives of moderate concern to this product contains synthetic food dyes to this is also a good source of naturally occurring calcium. You will also find other information like allergy information that you might be interested in. You can see the nutrition facts panel. You can see EWG food reports that, are, that may be related to this product. And you can also see the ingredient list. So if you want to know more about any individual factor, you can just click on this dial and it will bring up a pop-up box that will show you more details. So you can see, okay, this product rates really well on protein, but also has a lot of sugar, for example. Or if you're interested in the ingredient concerns, you can click on that dial and it will bring up a box showing that this, for example, this product, for example, has seven ingredients with concerns. Everything from artificial color yellow number five to caramel color. But these different food additives have different levels of concern. And you can click on the learn why button right here and you can actually see the data that we use to generate that food additives subscore.
A really cool function that we have built into the database is the ability to tailor the nutrition facts panel to your age, gender, and life stage. So we know, for example, that your nutritional needs, if you're a 40-year-old female as I am, um, are somewhat different than if you're an eight-year-old female. So this tool allows you to look at how a particular product may contribute to your nutritional needs um, in a very interactive way. So here we have a product that's showing nutrition information for a 31 to 50 year old female. So these are the daily values for a 31 to 50 year old female. But if you change that to a 48 year old female, you will see that the daily values change. And this is important information because of course we want our kids to make sure they're getting enough vitamins and nutrients but also because there are certain kinds of nutrients that kids can actually get too much of and it can be harmful. For example, certain forms of vitamin A. So one way that I am really excited to use a database is to find better versions of some of my guilty pleasures. So for example, I really happen to like tortilla chips. And this is a product that maybe is not the best choice not so great on nutrition concern, pretty high on ingredient concern, and moderate in processing concern. So what I can do is I can say, okay, well show me, show me tortilla chips say in the three scoring category. All right, now I've got some options. So I can find one that looks interesting. Let's try this one. And you can see, oh wow, this one scores a lot better. Not only is it 3.5, but you can see that it scores much better on nutrition concern. It really has no ingredient concerns and it's moderate on processing concerns. So this is really a better option. So one thing you should, you should know, if you search for peanut butter in the database, you are likely to get search results that will return products that are just straight peanut butter and also products that contain peanut butter, like a peanut butter granola bar. But if you want to see just straight peanut butter, you can use this function that we call limit by category. So on the left side of your screen, you'll see this little button that will say select and you scroll down and you can choose just peanut butter. Here we are in the peanut butter category. Say I want to only see the organic peanut butter. I can just click on this box and that's all I'll see. But say I wanted to see, okay, I want to see the certified organic and the certified gluten-free peanut butter. You can click on that too.